great welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for the support if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so friends before i start our today's video i would like to give a special thanks to all of you that prayed for me when i was sick those who sent me comments those who sent <laughs> messages those who sent me the dms praying for me telling me that i'll be okay <laughs> you are praying for me guys i thank you so much you really really surprised me because i'm someone who don't expect a lot from people but you really surprised me with those loving caring messages and i would like you to know that i don't take you for granted i appreciate much and i love you too you know that <laughs> so guys thank you so much be blessed be blessed so friends back to our today's video our today's video is a requested video from one of my subscribers she wanted me to do this video <laughs> actually she requested this video when i was sick and i told her when i feel better i will do the video now i am better that is why i'm here <laughs> so the request goes as this bella what was your first experience when you applied for the visa i would like to know the whole experience how you felt the whole process i would also like you to do the video of the visa process the requirements not only that guys she also told me she heard a person saying that in order for someone to invite you or a man to invite you to europe you must have dated or been dating for two years so she asked me is it true is it not true why is it like that please do a video about it i know a lot of people who are going through the visa process the schengen visa process would like to know the video will be helpful because i wanted to answer her in the dm <laughs> but she told me no i want a video <laughs> so that all people can be helped so that is why i am here guys especially guys those who are going through the schengen visa process i want to give you the best best advice which will help you pass your schengen visa interview which will help you a lot because some of the information that i'm going to be sharing today no one has ever told you <laughs> these tips are going to help you and they are the tips that i wished someone told me before i applied for my schengen visa for the first time so stick here and also guys you ladies who are still searching men online especially white men and you expect to travel you should watch this video because it's so important your turn will come very soon so if you have information it helps a lot i always say that a little bit of information always helps so please enjoy the video and let us start right now so friends as we all know schengen visa has got different types but today the type that i'm going to be discussing with you is the one that i went through which is the schengen visa for visiting family or friends meaning your fiance or your boyfriend and it is for someone who is employed not self-employed to start with i'm going to be sharing with you my own experience when i applied for the schengen visa the first time to italy <laughs> so guys when things got serious with my boyfriend <laughs> who is my husband now <laughs> he told me the second meeting i want us to meet in italy so that you can see my life and also see if you like it here or not and when he told me that i was really really excited first thing very excited and happy second i was very scared guys because i had never traveled to europe or to abroad <laughs> the only countries that i had visited are the neighboring countries like kenya and uganda 
so i was very scared and i did not know where to start with but he told me i have done the research the visa that you are going to ask will be a tourist visa which is a schengen visa but the type is the tourist visa so he told me you need to call the italian embassy and ask for the information so that they can tell you the requirements that you need to give them because for him he had done already the research of what he needs to send me so i was supposed to know what documents they need from me so that i can combine them with those that my boyfriend will send me and then present them to the italian embassy so friends when we talked about inviting me it was in the evening i remember and the next day i was going to work so during lunch break the next day it's when i called the italian embassy to ask for the requirements the secretary answered me and gave me all the information that i needed it took me one week to prepare all the documents and put them all together and then ask for an appointment to the embassy i got it the time and everything then i went when i arrived they were really really friendly they gave me the form to fill which is the application form i filled it and where i could not understand i asked they answered me i filled everything and everything was okay then i waited for my turn to be called to the window <laughs> so my turn arrived i went this white lady was really smiling took my documents and told me one document is missing she told me don't worry you bring the document next week i paid for the visa fee and she gave me a receipt showing that i paid which has a date for the day for me to return to take my visa i was happy excited i said oh my god all went well nobody asked me anything it wasn't hectic like i thought guys i was really happy and i left the embassy that day so guys when i arrived home that week waiting till the day i'm going to receive my visa i started planning for the trip <laughs> preparing the dresses that i'm going to be wearing and i also bought some gifts for my husband and the relatives <laughs> you know guys you're from africa so you should bring something to represent you represent africa something unique so i bought some gifts and started packing the day for receiving the visa arrived and my bag was ready guys very ready packed there in the corner <laughs> getting the visa that day means that i was going to travel the next day so i went and when i arrived they told me to wait so i waited with other people people were worried and while i was there there was a guy that was denied visa people started talking in a very low tone <laughs> those who were waiting like me for the visa they started talking saying that uh that lady there in the window the italian lady is very rude <laughs> very mean <laughs> can just deny you visa for no reason <laughs> So for me, I was like, ah, but she told me today I'm going to receive my visa. So I wasn't worried, guys. I wasn't worried at all. So my turn arrived and I, they called me. I went. When I arrived, guys, the lady was very serious. Serious, guys. <laughs> so she started asking me questions that I wasn't even prepared. Because I knew going there was going to be given take your visa safe trip you know <laughs> it wasn't the case the lady started asking me a lot of questions some questions i answered them wrongly because it was out of a surprise and i was panicking <laughs> so in the end what happened she told me madam your visa is denied hmm <laughs> guys i felt very very sad i wanted even to cry i asked her why she gave me two papers told me to sign i signed and she told me read there why you have been denied visa 
she didn't have time to explain to me why she denied me the visa so i left but i was very sad i remember crying outside the embassy <laughs> I cried a lot because I had prepared myself so much. My bag was ready to travel. I thought that I was going to wait for six months to travel again. I called my friend and told her I was so sad. They have denied me the visa. She told me come home and I did not go back to work guys that day because my mind wasn't functioning at all. <laughs> So when I arrived home, talked to my friend, she told me don't worry, everything will be fine. And I talked to my boyfriend, told him everything. He told me don't worry, tomorrow I'm going to call the embassy so that I can know what is the reason for you to be denied the visa. Because I read the paper, but I couldn't understand anything. It was in English, yes but i could not understand the reasons why they have denied me the visa so i couldn't wait for my boyfriend to call the embassy the next day so that we can know what was the reason the next day arrived my boyfriend called and they told him why they denied me the visa imagine guys <laughs> and he also asked if i can reapply again for the visa they told him you can apply as many times as you want so after two weeks i reapplied again and from that day guys when i was denied the visa that is when i started researching about the schengen visa the requirements the interview what questions can they ask you everything guys <laughs> so i had the information and when i reapplied again they gave me the visa so let us go straight away to the visa requirements whereby i'll also be giving you these best tips that i promised you number one for the schengen visa because i told you guys i'm going to be talking about someone who is employed so requirements number one is your work contract this work contract guys comes the best tip <laughs> it should be the contract that still have time it is not the contract that is almost expiring if you go with a contract which is almost expiring they are not going to give you the visa and the reason they will say that your contract is almost expiring they are not sure if you're going to renew your contract or not so that would be the reason for you to be denied the visa so the best way to go about it is to go with your contract which still have time example like four months ahead or six months ahead not a contract that is expiring the next month and you want to travel this month this is going to make them doubt that if you travel you might not come back because <laughs> your contract is expiring maybe it's the reason for you to escape from your country go to europe and look for a job <laughs> it's not that you're going to visit your friend no you, you are escaping that is what they are going to imagine so go with a contract that still have time guys not a contract that is expiring i repeat requirement number two they will want your pay slips of three months but it's better for you to have three to six months something can come up they might take these three months and tell you they want more three months so it's better to have them already arranged when they want it you give to them Requirement number three, if you are employed, it is a letter from your employer. And this letter should have these things. One, it should state that the employer knows that you are traveling to that country, the purpose for your travel. And he should also state that when you are not at work, there should be someone taking care of your responsibilities at work he should also mention the date that you are expecting to travel and the date that you're expecting to come back it should have all those things then sign and the stamp then that letter is complete 
Requirement number four of the Schengen visa, if you're traveling, if you're traveling to visit your friend or family and you are employed, they need your bank statement. They say three months, but prepare up to six months. I was asked six months guys but when you go on google and research they say three months but i am telling you out of my experience it's better for you to have six months bank statement <laughs> document and this bank statement guys it is not only a bank statement it should be an account which is active it should be an account which has got balance do, do not go to the embassy with a bank statement which has got no balance or it has got a very very small balance that will be the reason for them to deny you the visa so it should have a very good amount of money <laughs> not so much but you should have a very good amount of balance and it should be a very active account that you always deposit and withdraw number five requirement is the passport we all know then you should also have a passport size one passport size but i'm telling you guys if you call the embassy of the country that you want to travel they are going to give you all this information that i am giving you only that i'm trying to make you understand why they want those documents and how they should be so that is why i say best tips <laughs> requirement number six that when you call the embassy sometimes they don't tell you is the tax identification number <laughs> for us in tanzania we call it tra <laughs> so you should have that document and for tanzania when you go to ask this TIN number, you should ask a personal TIN number, not a TIN number for business, not at all, a TIN number personal. In Tanzania, it's free, so you should make sure you have that document. Other requirements that are needed is an invitation letter from someone who is inviting you, who is your boyfriend, I imagine. <laughs> so he should send you an invitation letter. And this invitation letter, guys, attention, make a copy. One should go to the embassy and one you should remain with it. Stay with it in the bag when you travel make sure that you have it so if you put it in your luggage it goes with a cargo you want to be able to demonstrate this invitation letter and they might return you back home <laughs> the embassy give you the visa you're at the airport but at the airport the officers can, can stop you from boarding so it's better to have that invitation letter on the hand it is the tip that i'm giving you <laughs> and it will help you so much <laughs> especially if you're traveling for the first time so another documents or requirements that they will need but this is not from you because someone is inviting you so they should be from the person who is inviting you it is that invitation letter that i told you it is the round trip booked proof the document of the booked uh, the ticket that is being booked round trip not only <laughs> one-way trip no <laughs> round trip that you're going and returning so it should be there but also if someone who is inviting you it is the first time inviting someone you should also let him know if the travel agency hasn't told him he is not supposed to pay for the ticket before you get the visa. Don't do that mistake. Because if they deny you the visa, it means that you will lose that money. <laughs> Another document that is needed is the travel insurance, health insurance, and the proof of the finance that you will be okay when you live with that person. He can take care of you financially, the food and everything. These documents, like I said, 
someone who is inviting you or your boyfriend will be the one to send them to you the ones that you are supposed to prepare are those ones that i told you before so guys my best advice that i can give you who is going through the schengen visa process the best tip that i'm giving you is that before you start all the visa process the schengen visa process you should make sure that you know the man that you are going to visit know him very well if he has got any past that you don't know he should try to tell you because something can come up at the embassy and it can make you be denied the visa so you should make sure that you know the man very well you trust him and if he has ever invited someone before to his country he should let you know because at the embassy they might ask because they know when <laughs> when the application is presented they see his documents they are going to spy on him <laughs> so that they know and in order for them to know if you really know well each other they are going to ask you some of the information so you should know this man very well guys don't start the visa process and then go to an interview in the end they make an interview to you they see that you have no idea of this man so know the man very well another tip that i'm giving you is that you should know which city you are going if it is example in Italy if you're going to Milan then tell them that I'm going to Milan try to research about Milan on Google everything is there if you're going to Norway then you should know which city are you going in Norway which city does this man live another thing you should know because you're asking a Schengen visa which is tourist visa for visiting friends and family you should have the activities that you will be doing and they're going to ask you so you should know the tourist attraction in the city where you're going to visit or the city where your boyfriend lives this will help you to answer the questions if they ask you at the embassy about that particular city so you should know the tourist attractions what will you be doing there if it is for the time of three weeks or one month and by the way talking about the period of time if you are employed it's so important guys never do this mistake when you apply for the visa when you apply for the schengen visa yes they say you have a period of 90 days three months but it's not a guarantee that when you ask three months they are going to give you three months they won't and do you know why it is because you are employed and every employee <laughs> has got 28 days it is known in the whole world to have a holiday in a year for only 28 days if you ask for a three months visa they are going to be asking themselves what kind of job do you do which will allow you to stay in another country for three months out of your work who will be doing your job responsibilities all those three months which is not possible so the time that i am advising you to apply to ask ask one month or three weeks when you arrive in that country if you want to stay more you can still ask for a visa extension but you are already in that particular country but for the first time applying for the visa asking three months you won't get it just forget about it to simplify your visa process ask one month or three weeks it's so important to add on guys on the tips be very confident don't be scared at all as long as you don't have any criminal case you will get your Schengen visa <laughs> don't worry at all and also guys the visa process is not free so you must have the visa fee 
every country differs that is why i told you to get all this information just call the embassy they will tell you how much it is needed for the visa fee so friends you who is going through schengen visa process or who is about to go or who is about to go through schengen visa process those are the requirements but also guys call the embassy of a country that you want to visit do some research on google watch more videos and also check the covid restrictions right now due to covid complications you have to know the restrictions of entry and everything concerning covid so do that so now guys i'm going to be answering you the question that she asked she had someone saying that in order for you to be invited by your boyfriend you must have dated for two years it's not like that the thing is example italy we don't have an engagement visa or fiancé visa they call it but for the countries which have the fiancé visa or engagement visa they will want you to have met in person before in the past two years so it can be that you have dated a year and within that year you must have met or it can be you dated for six months but in those six months you must have met in person before not you coming from ghana to america to meet this guy that you have never met here we are talking of an engagement visa or fiancé visa so they look more deep into your relationship and they're going to ask you more personal questions <laughs> concerning your relationship to know if your relationship is genuine or not so that they can grant you visa or not so you must have met in person in the past two years for the little research that I have done for those countries that have got the engagement visa or fiancé visa, sometimes, sometimes guys, they can waive that requirement in some situations. Maybe an American citizen has some difficulties to meet you or due to religion. Those are the reasons that can make the embassy waive this requirement of meeting before, at least in the past two years but in most cases they want you to have met before so that they can give you the visa go visit your fiance or your boyfriend <laughs> yeah another thing i heard they would want some letters from people around you the friends and families demonstrating that your relationship is very genuine it's concrete you love each other and you intend to marry each other <laughs> yeah but this is all about the fiancé visa and engagement visa whereby sometimes they can even ask the messages whereby you've been chatting with your boyfriend the photos you took when you met the photos you took with your family if he engaged you the engagement photos maybe in your country if he came in your country so they will ask you those things in general guys so that i can wrap it up is that you must have met in the past two years not dating for two years no in order for someone to invite you for the engagement visa or fiancé visa but also guys if you're from a country which has got engagement visa or fiancé visa you can also help us write in the comments below some of the requirements and also <laughs> maybe put an emphasis emphasize on what i'm trying to say about to have met in the past two years or if you're someone who went through the engagement visa please drop us the comment below tell us your experience tell us some of the requirements so guys let us end here i really appreciate much your time god bless you thank you for the support please if you've liked this video or if you think this video is very helpful give it a thumbs up share it with your friends 
family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are so good. Comment below, like I said, what you think about this video, any experience, please drop us that comment. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.